Please welcome Mr. Khan. Hello everyone. Uh, I'm new to Go. So today I will be actually doing a little demo how to write a web socket and uh, connect to it through JavaScript or through some web socket uh, online things. So uh, I will be doing more like a small program right in front of it for you and uh, then I will connect it through JavaScript. So let's do it. Uh, Uh, let's save it. Uh, yes, to go. I know that is uh, some boring stuff for some of you, but we have to do it. Mm. And I will be presenting a little bit more detail uh, once I will be finish writing the basic stuff. So so this will be your HTTP dot list. Uh, sorry, actually, response writer HTTP dot request, and then and then uh, actually I'm using a Gorilla Web Sockets package for communicating uh, through client to server for bidirectional communication. So Gorilla package. Here, actually, it's a package written uh, for Go uh, using the standard protocol, IFC 6455. It's a very good implementation, and it's very easy to use. So I will be like doing uh, installing it. Then I will be importing the package. Uh, writing, let's say, upgrade, upgrade web socket dot, sorry, upgrader, read buffer size should be normal, standard, write, Buffer size is also like uh, the same size. So the third parameter will be the region policy. So we will let the server decide to think about the origin. So we are allowing uh, connections from everywhere. So, so it's the uh, server side responsibility to allow it or not. So we are allowing it. So it will be more like. Uh, True. So this one is the upgrader. Over. I will explain this upgrader a little uh, after a little time. So we will write uh, upgrade dot <coughs> upgrade first parameter. This actually returns a socket and the error object. So the same thing, go for error checking. And uh, in our case, we will be doing a print ln or return. So after that, uh, the, we will read the socket for the message. So this socket actually returns three parameters. 
return three values message message type uh, message and error so what we will do we will first uh, print the whatever the message we have received because it's a byte so we have to convert it into string and after that we can send back the same message to the user as a because we are writing echo server so socket dot write message and we it's it's uh, takes a message type and the message and returns the error thing and we can check for it for example it's the go syntax so yeah so little bit let me verify alpha listen serve handler socket upgrade after upgrading we read the message after reading message we print it and after printing we will send back the response okay cool so let's do the error handling also we don't need it but still it's a good thing okay let's go here and uh, yeah go run test to dot go it's running uh, now let's test it using the websocket.org website so it is localhost dot 4000 slash echo it's connected let's send go Montreal and it sent back the same response so it's echo server uh, it's from the outside the origin and now let's do it from the same origin uh, I send the message I can show you uh, yeah here I'm sending uh, hello go Montreal uh, you can see here and it sent back the same response so this is a small demo actually it's apart from my side project I'm working on uh, due to the lack of time and some other issues uh, I cannot present the whole project but maybe tomorrow uh, sorry tomorrow I say uh, the next time I will present it the completely it's a little bit mixture of rethink DB and all the latest technologies so and it's more like the slack type thing so I don't know why everyone is working on slack so anyway I'm also working on it so yeah so this is the very little demo so yeah that's it any questions Sorry? Yeah, yeah, sure. Sorry? Uh, message type? Yeah. Uh, it can be, you know, uh, how can I explain? It can be UDP something or all these things. Okay. So it's it's more like a, because the the native Go language yeah, that provides the functionalities, you know, that are more like a you know, very crude level. So the Gorilla package is something more. It has right a wrapper on top of it. So it's, it, they have a very good API. You can like, read it, and it's very like uh, like easy to understand. And, and it's, it, the abstraction level is also very good. So like the very new uh, comers in the Go language, like for me, I, it's my first I think project. So I, it's easy for me to understand. Otherwise, if I go with the basic or the native implementation of the Go for the web sockets, it's really hard to understand to, to and, and to do a lot of things extra also. Uh, yeah, it's like a wrapper. They they've done it through the standard RFC standards, and they have write a standard. Okay. Yeah, 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 exactly. So actually, this upgrade is also uh, what is doing is uh, just converting the HTTP request standard to the WebSocket protocol, so that you will have a bidirectional communication. Or like, yeah. So in the next meetup, probably I will try to uh, make it a more a complete end-to-end -end demo with the application or something, so that you can understand it more better. Uh, for the Go? Yeah, like if you were doing more of the website, I think I, I, I would be interested. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, I'm more. I'm also interested, but uh, because of the you know the lack of uh, you can say the like right now time or something, 
I just go for this Gorilla package. But in my personal project that I'm working on, I will be more using the native things. Because this uh, Gorilla package, I found some, some two, three bugs. that are very stupid bugs. Uh, so I, I'm not going to use it anymore. <laughs> Sorry? Yeah, anyone can fix and become a hero, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, so. Other questions? A reminder, let's give Raza Aguilar. Thank you.